from uh, a large yeah, vehicle to a small vehicle. And this is like there's a large vehicle with like big Nice to meet you. I'm David Chauvin from uh, Flowbird, the company who is doing mobility and uh, transform uh, the motorist to mobilist. So we are really, really happy to be uh, here today at Autonomy. I'm going to talk about MonaPass today, which is a multimodality application we have developed for Monaco territory, so well-known uh, states in, uh, in Europe. So we have developed this multimodality application for one reason is Monaco is a territory where the digitalization is really, really, really important. The state has decided in 2018 to develop um, a, an approach of digitalization, uh, digital, digitalized, sorry, the Monaco states in several areas, not only mobility, but also education, health, and they put a lot of effort to transform their territory in a, in, a, in a territory really connected where the people can get all the services online using mobile, using web applications. So they are really, really advanced. And we start this program of Monapass in 2020. We spent about six months talking with the government of Monaco about their expectation, what they wanted to offer in terms of services for the mobility. And we arrived to the conclusion that to initiate this application, we, were we, we wanted to develop free services of mobility, plus some services for destination to the mobility, meaning going to a museum, going to a cinema. So being able to buy some ticketing, but not only for mobility, but also for finality, as we call it at, at, at Flowbird. And all of that with one account, one credit card. So for the users, the visitors, the residents, the pro, all of the people who visit Monaco or lives in Monaco, it's very, very simple to move from point A to point B and at destination buy a ticket to go into the museum, go into the stadium, go into uh, uh, um, different cultural activities. That's the, the, the origin of this project. So to do it, we also include, sorry, we include inside some additional services who are really important for the end user, who is the information. So for every single mobility services, there are some information. So on the bus, you have the, 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 the information about when the next bus is going to arrive. On the parking, you have the information how much is going to cost uh, uh, a session of parking when I park my car into the city and how many bikes are available in different stations who are located into the territory. And every time you have this information, it encourages the user to buy a ticket. And all of that is possible with one application again. So you see, it's very, very simple to use, standard uh, way to present the product. So here we have an entire product list of the different transport, and you see it's not only basic tickets, it's also some subscriptions, and we have all along the development include, included additional features, so now we can also import some product who has been bought by the users in the past and forgot to buy it directly in Monapass, they can import their tickets and get dematerialized into the application. We also used our standard application for parking, so we developed the application using the foundation of what we delivered in numbers of cities all around the world called the Flowbird app. So we use the parking services and we include these parking services into the Monapass and we only change the design and the colors. So it's very, very easy for the city to include this service into their uh, territory. And we did an integration with a famous player in bike sharing, who is PBSC, who is uh, over there. So we did the integration with them, and we did also the integration with their account. So it's very easy, again, for a user who connect to Monapass to retrieve his account if he has previously created an account in PBSC application. So the integration is very smooth between Monapass and the different MSP 
mobility service provider who are available in Monaco. And at the end, we have finality services, so the museum, the cinema, and you see here, you can buy some product in advance, not only for one person, but for an entire family. So you can buy two products for adults, two products for children, and you buy the product and you can validate this product later on. And to validate the product and to use the product you bought, just using the QR code, it's the way to activate and transform a product bought a few weeks ago to a product valid for a certain period. Connected to that, very important as well for Monaco to understand the different usage in the city. So at the beginning it was not available, but now we have enough number of usage, we have created a BI, so the city, the government, can verify what are the best services, the number of purchase, the number of transaction, and start to imagine new products in the application. And the next generation of product we are going to develop with Monaco is a combination of services. So typically, a person who, who wants to go to the stadium, usually take the car, go to the stadium, park the car, so he pay for the parking and he pay for the stadium ticketing. What we want to do with this application, we are going to create a product, a bundle, with the ticket for the stadium, but also the ticket for the bus and the ticket for the parking which is going to be located outside Monaco. So like this, we help the, the, the city to reduce the congestion, to offer the free bus for the end user, or offer a discount on the ticket uh, for, for, for the stadium. So it's very interesting because we start to incentive and change the habit and transform the motorist to mobilist again. So that's the way we develop this application. And the, 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 the conclusion of my presentation is uh, all of that, it's not specific. All of that can be deployed in any territory using multiple services. And all the things we do it's, it's for the, the authority, the end user belongs to the authority, the data belongs to the authority. We only provide to the authority a platform for them and not for private operator using the community and try to make all the public service on behalf of the, 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 the authority. It's the positioning of the company. Flowbird is a company est uh, is, who is established since 50 years, we work with city in the, in the world in more than 4,300 cities, more than 80 countries. So we have really that in our art to serve the, 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 the city and deliver some services for the public interest. Thank you very much. <laughs>